Hi, I'm Jim with Noria. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about uh, two maintenance uh, philosophies that fit under what we call condition-based maintenance. The first is what we call predictive maintenance, and the second is what we call proactive maintenance. Now, many people use these terms interchangeably, but they're not the same terms. They have they work together. They're partners in the field of reliability, but they have different meaning and different strategy, different me methods of applying them. I'm going to start out by talking about predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance focuses on failure symptoms and faults. So a failure needs to be occurring. So if when that failure does occur, predictive maintenance is there to detect it. So we want to detect it early. And we can use predictive maintenance to forecast the, the remaining useful life of our lubricant or the re remaining useful life of our machine because we're seeing through these detections the life of the machine begin to deteriorate. We see the life that is lost and we see the life that remains. So the technologies that we could use in oil analysis, we could use wear debris analysis we could for det by detecting abnormal wear and then analyzing those conditions and then of course correcting. Other technologies we could use include vibration analysis, thermography, motor current analysis. All of those technologies could be uh, used together as companion technologies for early detection and to estimate, estimate remaining useful life. So our goal here with predictive maintenance is early detection. We catch problems early, say at the incipient stage, maybe at the early impending stage. We've got a lot of time to, to uh, schedule a repair, analyze, troubleshoot, whatever the case may be. Uh, before the machine fails uh, catastrophically. So we're trying to uh, reduce the impact of failure. We already have some sort of fault or failure. We know that because we have a symptom. We're just trying to reduce the severity of it. Proactive maintenance has a little bit different mention, mission. It's not trying to detect failure, but rather it's trying to detect root causes. So these are the things that lead to failure. The human body parallel would be like cholesterol monitoring, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. Those aren't symptoms of heart disease, but they are root causes of heart disease. So in, uh, in reliability and tribology and wear, uh, contamination or abnormal uh, uh, lubricant degradation or wrong lubricant are all root causes that can lead to uh, premature machine failure. So we're going to use... Uh, the conditions of the root cause, the symptoms, not the symptoms, but the properties of that root cause through monitoring uh, activities uh, to, to detect and then remove those root causes. So contaminant monitoring, monitoring particles and moisture, that would be an example of how this could be done with oil analysis. Of course, we can also use uh, a balance and alignment technology. Those are definitely root causes. Any type of oil monitoring method that would identify the wrong level of oil that could lead to starvation or the wrong quality of oil, the wrong type of oil, uh, all important for proactive maintenance. So the goal here is fault-free machine life extension. So we're trying to take a machine that might normally uh, have a life expectancy of, say, 5,000 hours and stretch that out to, say, 10,000 hours or 20,000 hours. We do that through... Uh, root cause monitoring and eradication of those root causes. So if we have a fleet of machines that have on a typical year 50 uh, failures uh, per year, uh, through good proactive maintenance, we might be able to reduce that to 25 failures or 15 failures, maybe even five failures. So condition-based maintenance uh, involves monitoring conditions. We have two general types of conditions. Predictive maintenance is looking at, at uh, conditions associated with failure symptoms and faults. Uh, again, the objective here is early detection. Proactive maintenance, the, the condition we're focusing on are root causes. And there are a lot of important root causes, and we would monitor and eradicate those root causes. For more information on this subject, visit us at noria.com.